You know, the world works in mysterious ways. I just got a call from my dad saying he's not doing very well and I'm going to go out and take care of him for a little while. But before I go, I wanted to do this video about digital journals because it's an important one. Last winter, before the pandemic, I discovered a YouTube channel called Lavendaire. A woman named Eileen Sue taught me about journaling and her brilliant idea was to have different journals for different categories of your life. So I bought some paper journals and I started doing that and it was an amazing transformation for my mental state. But it was really difficult for me to keep track of all those different paper journals. So I decided to use my new best friend, Google Sites, and make a digital journal. And I wanted to share that with you. In Google Sites, I set up different pages for different categories. And that really helped me keep track of where I was. And what I also did was I found inspirational pictures so that it makes it fun and motivating to want to go to my digital journal. If I'm stressed, it makes me relax. Not only does this digital journal help me keep organized with what I'm thinking about and what I'm doing, but it really gives me a sense of gratitude when I can go back and look at what I've done and I can realize how far I've come in just a few days or a few weeks. I can also see patterns of things, maybe things that have been bothering me. And so when I look back and I see that there's a pattern, then I can do something about it and take some productive action towards solving that. This is something that I really look forward to doing and it has been extremely helpful for me in this time of stress. Here I am in my Google Drive and I'm going to show you the folders and sites that I've already set up. So I have some folders set up here, highlights, plans, journals, reflections. And if I have a lot to say and I wanna put it on a long document, then I put those documents in these folders. Okay, so here we have some Google Sites. I have my blank calendar, which is very important. I'm gonna show you that one first. Okay, this is how I've set up my blank calendar. I've named it 00, so it goes into the beginning of the alphabet. And then I named it blank calendar. And what I can do is I can make a copy of this entire calendar and then change it to the next month that I'm going to be working on. So let me show you what I've done here. First of all, remember my three easy steps, um, themes, pages, and insert. So let's start with themes. Themes is really to just choose your fonts. And so I just have chosen the, the first theme, which is simple, but you can look through the font styles here and choose whichever font style you like the best. Now, the other thing that I talk about during themes is the banner. I have just found a really nice picture on the website Unsplash. I love using that website for any of my pictures. And over here, I can change the image. I can upload the image and I can also change the header type. You can choose a very large header type or just the regular banner. And there are three places to name your site. So up here, I've given it a title. Right here, I have the title. And then on the page itself, I can have a title. After you have chosen your banner and you've named your site, then you can go to step two, which is pages. And when you add pages, it goes up here to your navigation bar. Now I'm gonna go through the different pages that I have. On my home page, I think it's really cool to choose one word for that month. That's one word that you're gonna focus on that whole month, and that will kind of give you um, a guiding inspiration for what you're going to do that month. Then I put my calendar. Then I have a page called dreams. Again, I have my one word that will guide me for what I'm dreaming about in the future or my vision for the future. I have a page called plans. This is where I'm going to put the details of each week, what I want to start, what I want to learn, what I want to create, what I'm going to film and what I'm going to post on social media and then I just copied and pasted these for each week. 
And you can either do this before, during, or after. And it's just a really great way to keep track of the details of what you're doing. The next page is called journal because throughout my day, I will find that I'm either upset or confused or, you know, maybe something really great happened and I can sit down and I can, I can sit down and just type something here in a text box and get it off my mind. Then I have reflections and again, I'm going to choose my one word that will, it might be the same or it might be different from what actually happened in that month. I have a page for highlights. Um, it keeps track of the most important things that I want to remember about that month. And then finally, I have a page for media, which could be any kind of, of cool photos that I really um, want to put there or some cool pictures I found on the internet or cool videos I found. Um, any kind of media that you happen to come across that you find inspirational or something maybe that you use that you really loved and you wanted to use again. So I have a whole page for that. All right, let me go back now to, to one that I've done. As you can see, I have one for July and I'm really excited to show you the one I have for August. Before I get started and show you my August digital journal, I want to show you the website that inspired all my pictures. This website is called itl.cat and it has free wallpapers. And so I typed in spa wallpaper and I got all these amazing, um, you know, meditation type pictures and I was able to save and use those for my website. So I wanna show you that. Okay, so here I am at the home page. This is my favorite one of those pictures. And as you can see, I put my one word, which was social media and reconnecting with my friends. That's what I really wanted to focus on in the month of August. I started my Facebook and Instagram accounts. I posted on Twitter and I started my YouTube channel and I launched my website. So I really did a lot. And here's my calendar that has all of my events that happened then I have my dreams page, and um, I was really missing my friends over the summer, and so this is about um, connecting with friends. I also got this great idea from my wonderful Eileen Sue friend um, from Lavendaire, and that is how to make a visual vision board, um, a digital vision board. and. One thing that I really love the idea of is to do different categories. Um, and so you can find really inspirational pictures in different categories of your life throughout the year and create a vision board to give you inspiration. And I haven't tried this yet, but I'm really excited to. So in my plans, again, I have my one word, which is patience and each week, I have the details of what I've been doing. And this really helps me keep track of, um, of the details of what I've done or what I'm planning to do. So I can come back here and refer to this quite often. Then I have my journal and I can e either put these in a Google Doc and connect it in here or I can just click and make a text box and and use a different text box for each day that I feel like writing something in my journal. Reflections is a very special place that I can go back and think back on what I need to reflect upon. And I've even done a different font um, for this because I feel like these are very special thoughts and feelings about um, what happened in the past and so I want to make that a little bit special and choose a little bit fancier font for that one. And then the highlights page is just very short and it just gives me a few sentences about what some of my highlights were from the month. And then I have my media page where I have some pictures um, and videos that have given me inspiration this month. 
So I hope that gives you some inspiration about what to do for your own self-care during this very stressful time during this pandemic. It has really helped me focus on what I need to focus and keep me on track and keep me going. I know that everyone is going through their own struggles and this is a way, keeping a digital journal is a way to help you through these difficult times. Thanks for watching.